Hey guys, so welcome to our page. I don't know if you followed along, but I'm doing a little mini series on our rabbits. Uh, we've been raising rabbits for about 10 years and we get a lot of questions about it. So today I think will be like the third or fourth video. I'm going to breed my doe here. This is, um, what is her name? I think it's Luna. Anyway, I'm gonna breed her. She is a virgin doe. This will be her first time. So I'm gonna pull her out. A lot of people have questions about breeding rabbits if you have problems breeding them if the female won't breed um, and I'm going to show you a little tip here now rabbits are what's called an induced ovulator so they don't have a typical all right let me calm her down calm down come on calm down there you go all right they don't get handled very much so they are a little skitzy Rabbits are induced ovulators. They don't have a typical heat cycle. They will not release eggs until they are bred. So they do have like a five day cycle as to when they will be more receptive and less receptive. So what I'm gonna do here, since she's a virgin, I'm gonna look at her vent right here. To do that, I put, I put her over on her back, press down on her tail a little bit, and then press right here. Now, she's pretty, she's pretty pink. She's probably about halfway through. So she might be receptive, she might not be receptive. When she is, she's pretty swollen. <laughs> now when she's not going to be receptive at all, that, you wanna zoom in right there? Not really. Well, when Ew. she's, that'll be really white and not swollen at all. You can tell it's gotten kind of pink. It's a little bit swollen. Yeah. It'll get almost cherry red when she is extremely receptive. So I'm gonna say this is probably about halfway between receptive and not receptive. I'm gonna go ahead and throw her into my buck's cage and see what happens. Honey, can you lift that up and open that up for me? Now, when you are breeding rabbits, you always, always, always take your doe to your buck's cage. Ducks, or, does are a lot more territorial. So um, if you bring him to her cage, he, she will fight. Now, he is, he's still a very young duck, young buck. So he's not quite sure. And she's not quite sure, too, because she's a virgin doe. But we'll see if she lifts. Now, if they're behaving like this a lot and she's being, she's fighting a lot, I will pull her out and I'll wait another day or two. You don't want your females to exhibit a whole lot of dominance behavior over your buck, especially when you have a younger buck. It'll cause a lot of, like, confidence type issues with your buck. Now, she's not really lifting. She's not barking at him, so I'm gonna let him go for another minute or two. But if she doesn't calm down, a lot of this could be because she is a virgin doe too. She's never been bred before. So she's a little confused, she doesn't know what's going on. But she's not barking at him. Now, sometimes if you have a very aggressive doe, they can turn around and they can bite his testicles and cause some damage. But she's not doing that, she's just kind of running circles. Let me reach in there and maybe stop her from running. We'll see if she'll lift. No, nope, she's not gonna lift. You can usually tell when they're very receptive, they'll lift their butt end up off of their hind legs and they'll really lift up and really lift up their tail and they'll present that to them. But she's not really doing that. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna stop this and I'll try again tomorrow. All right, guys, we are on day two. I'm gonna check her out again. Come here, I haven't fed anybody and it's been a little chilly. So hopefully this cold weather is having them feeling a little saucy. But I'm gonna check her vent again. Let's see. No, she's even less. She's even less red than what she was last time. So she might be coming out of that cycle, that receptive cycle. I'll go ahead and I'll try. Look at Merlin, guys. Look at Merlin. We'll see. Look at Merlin, guys. This is our new cat. Nope. She's even less. All right, I'll pull her out and we'll try again. And I'll probably give her another two or three days just to see. Which one's the boy? The big one or the small okay. one? Let's see what she does. No, she's not lifting at all. Oh, oh whoop, we did get a fall off. That was a fall off. All right, guys. So that was a fall off. She must have lifted right there at the end. And that's what you want. And usually I aim for about two or three. Um, the wow. amount of fall offs does not predict how many rabbits or how many babies your doe is going to have. That is all strictly the doe's genetic. I do like to strive for two or three fall offs. 
I might try her again tomorrow since this was her first breeding. Oh, oh another. here's another one. Okay. It's so funny. <laughs> he grunted at that one too. Some rabbits will scream. Some of the males will scream. It's really funny. There's YouTube videos of screaming fall offs. It's hilarious. I have not had a screamer, fortunately. So, all right. Well, we've got two successful fall offs. When you're going that for was three right quick. now? I'll see if she'll do another one. Some does, I have some does that will really only allow one fall off and then they start running and growling and not wanting anything to do with the males. And I've gotten full litters of like 10 to 12 from that. And then I've also have does that will allow multiple fall offs and have smaller litters. But I like the eight to 12, well, I eight found, to 10. Really. I found your largest litters are in the beginning of your owning yeah, the when doe they're, when they're, when they're when young. They're younger, After yes. they get a certain age, yeah. it's just, Oh, 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 oh. He's nowhere even near. Shift her, her forward. His butt is like, here, let's shift everybody over. <laughs> They're like, what was that? They look shook. <laughs> you gonna try again? But yeah, this is what you want. This is, this is a good successful fall off. And you know, it could have been, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not that side, dude. Wrong end. She's not, she's not really left him. Oh, 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 there she oh, is. She there it went. Bit. There we go. All right. So we've got three fall offs here. Now, some people will put their does back in in a few days just in case they're, she released, like again, I said earlier yesterday, they are induced ovulators. So she will now start to ovulate. Um, so some people will then put, their does back in with their bucks in case there were any eggs that were not fertilized with that first breeding. Um, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It just depends on my time. If I, I thought have you time had better success remember. breeding the second day too. Breeding Honestly, today I haven't tomorrow. really noticed much of a difference with, with doing it. It's just some people, that's how they run their program. And it's gonna go like again. I said, if I remember to do it, I do it. But sometimes my does won't. Sometimes once they've been bred, they don't want to be bred again. So some of them will not and i'll usually if i try and they start running around the cage and resisting i pull them out because i don't want to i think he's give done them the workout i think he's probably mm, yeah. nope nope i don't know and as far as how many times your bucks can breed how many does that your bucks can breed in a short amount of time i only run generally two bucks and three does so i haven't had an a experience where He's bred too much that he has become not fertile anymore. She's doing a little grunting. She's grunting a little bit. But, um, so I, I can't really answer how many does your your bucks can breed. Because, yeah, I only have three at a time. And I try not to breed all three of mine at a time. Because that gives me a lot of rabbits to butcher at one time. He's stomping. He's like, come on, woman. All right, get out of my way. I'm going to move you over. All None? right, well, thanks for watching, guys. Um... That's it. That's rabbit breeding 101. Simple as that. Now from here, she's got, I put, I mark in my calendar that they were bred today. I usually mark how many fall offs they have just so that I know for my own records. And then I count 28 days and on 20, day 28, I put the nest box in. And then generally they have their babies around 31. It's, they save between 28 to 35 days with 31 being about the average. So, and usually mine happen around 31 to 32. And that's that's just where mine have fallen. I have had a doe that will go like a day early or a day late. Um, but on general, it's day 31. And I don't put my nest box in until day 28 because I don't want them to use it at, in, as a litter box. Let's see if we can go for fall off number four. I don't know. Seems like nope. she's not into it. She's not really into it. <laughs> He's like, whoo! He looks a little shook. He's like, thanks, guys. <laughs> thanks, guys. All right. Say goodbye. Thanks for watching. All right, so one more thing. When you're filming videos, it's very hard to remember to get all of the information out there. I need note cards behind me or something that I can read. Uh, so one more thing. When you are breeding rabbits um, and you have a new doe, like the doe that I just bred, it's usually a good idea to throw another one in to be bred um, so that they have litters right around the same time. Just in case something happens, maybe your doe rejects the litter or something tragic happens and you end up losing the doe. It's good to have another doe that is has babies of the same age so that way you can then foster. I, Hank, come on now. 
I fortunately have not had to do that, um, but sometimes it happens. I haven't crossed my fingers. I've been lucky I haven't had to do it myself, but I have had stories. So it's always a good idea to have another doe, a second doe. This is Shasty here. Uh, and it's actually her dad, Hanky Panky, that I'm breeding her with. Uh, she doesn't seem very receptive, so I might throw my other doe in there. Her litter right now is five, six weeks old. And so I have another doe whose litter is five weeks old, so I might throw the other one in since she doesn't seem very receptive right now. But again, it's a good idea to breed two of them at the time in case anything happens and you do need to foster. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. Um, I am trying to do a little video series, a little playlist um, with all of our different rabbit videos and things like that. So be sure to subscribe to our channel and follow along. Thanks for watching.